about art. Nude study. By me, Carol. So let's talk about art. Um, let's talk about this. This is what I have planned for this chapter. Um, in general, talk about nudism in art and I will always connect it with something, some of my inspiration and my personal work. So I make it really personal here. Mm. And yeah, so you can just see what I've been doing. I've been always filming. Um, so like I put this into time lapse. Um, that's it's kind of like speeding up. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, today I'm gonna show you how I painted this. And yeah, of course it's a nude study. And this one is actually based on a sculpture that I saw in Paris two years ago uh, when I was visiting the Musée d'Orsay, um, which is located directly at the um, shore of the Seine, which is in the 7th arrondissement. Uh, originally, the building was uh, constructed in 1900 as a train station and functions at, functioned as such till 1939. In 1986 the museum was open. Well, I tell you something guys, this museum is huge. I spent the whole day in there. It's 16,000 square meters displaying more than 4,000 art exponents. It's going through different genres uh, such as paintings, sculptures, graphics, photography, crafts and so on. And they are all dated somewhere between 1848 till 1914. So it's like the really, really narrow time frame, but it's huge and it's unique and extraordinary quality. It's like outstanding, seriously. It's definitely worth a visit. If you ever get to Paris, do go in there. Um, so this painting of mine is based on a laying nude and I like to modify things a bit. So like in the past you saw me actually doing kind of like a copy and this one is like my adoption to it. So what I do is like I have like this photo, um, yeah, I just do a quick sketch and then I start to fill it out with paint but there's like something happened in my mind there's like some photoshop move going on and yeah so that's what i've done also in the past already you can go into my insta feed for example and there's one of the other paintings that has kind of like the same manipulation in it the nudes in art they always try to symbolize the ideal body it's always a demonstration of beauty and this goes actually back until the antique times, such as Greeks, Roman, Hellenistic. And um, mostly the female is represented as like a god, such as Aphrodite or Venus, uh, which is the goddess of love. With this gentleness, it gives abundance of being. And over this, it gives central power. And it's also a symbol of fertility and creativity. Yeah, this is also, I guess, why I like this kind of images. Yeah, I always like to play with lights. Also, these kind of modifications and manipulations has been happening in the past. And it's also a topic that has been following me ever since I left the academy back 10 years ago. Mm, yeah, and like looking at this uh, with the hand, she's like, like, I modified the hand from the original sculpture and the hand is like like blocking the light bulb that is coming from the ceiling. She wants to protect herself from the rays, but you can also check out my um, my work that is hung in Kunsthalle St. An at the moment, which is also going in the same direction topic-wise. Yeah, it's like this spark, the light bulb is the spark. Yeah, anyways, how do you like my painting? And leave me a comment and thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to release these kind of videos about art um, regularly now and they will contain different kind of topics they're always gonna look into different angles i want to keep it short for now but yeah this is it for now so i hope you enjoyed this and again uh, thank you for watching and love more caro